Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, why don't we get started? Um, it is now uh, 12.36, and this is a public meeting of the Springfield uh, City Council Public Safety Committee. Uh, today is October 17th, it is uh, 12.37. Uh, today's agenda, uh, we're gonna be discussing uh, a follow-up uh, on a last meeting regarding um, discussion and follow-up on land taking order of 65 Summoner Avenue, which is the old friendlies. Um, Today, we are being joined by uh, Springfield City Council, Maria Perez. Council Perez, thank you for joining us, man. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Superintendent uh, Warwick. Good afternoon, Superintendent. Good afternoon. We also joined by uh, some of the principal, James McCann. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, we have uh, Lindsay Hackett from the Finance Department. Uh, thank you to the staff of the City Council for facilitating this meeting and, of course, uh, our uh, indispensable news uh, reporters uh, here in, in this meeting. Thank you for attending as well. Uh, so just uh, by way of recap, we had uh, about a month ago or so, uh, there was an order that was placed, a proposed order placed in front of the City Council to take over by eminent domain. Uh, the old friendlies. Uh, the purpose of that order was to uh, um, take it for the school department. Uh, it was going to be used for parking spaces for the uh, teachers and also for pick up and drop off uh, for the kids, for the school buses. Uh, apparently, uh, as it is a challenge. We all know that in that corner of Sumner Street, uh, between Friendlies and Long Hill Street, there's a lot of issues with traffic. And so um, uh, as a way of uh, increasing safety for the kids, uh, they wanted to use that parking lot for pick up and drop off. Uh, and also the use of the building itself, uh, I believe for administrative offices and also some sort of a special project that I believe that wants to be that, that wants to go there. Uh, with that being said, at the time there was no input from the Forest Park Civic Association. Uh, I um, uh, asked that the superintendent and the finance department attend uh, the Forest Park Civic Association appear in front of them, which they did. Uh, it is my understanding that uh, the Forest Park Civic Association is in favor of the project. They spoke highly of it. And so the purpose of today's meeting is to uh, kind of iron out any last wrinkles that they might or might not be. And hopefully we can bring this up to the uh, to the city council chambers today for, for their uh, consideration. Uh, so that's just a quick synopsis of uh, where we are. We're gonna be discussing today. Uh, Superintendent, uh, I will give you the floor. Uh, did I miss anything? Is there something you would like to add? Thank you, Victor. No, we appreciate it. And I, um... Love to hear that we involve the Civic Association because that's always the right thing to do. And I think for the Civic Association and the entire neighborhood, the issues will make sense. When we purchase land now for schools, we're always cognizant that you need space to go along with just what you need for a building so that you can do a safe arrival and dismissal. And you also have increased staff parking. When Sumner was initially built you know, over a hundred years ago, and then uh, in the nine, early 90s, when they did this addition, they didn't take into account the amount of uh, staff parking you need. So we were short of staff parking for years. But more importantly, the safe arrival and dismissal, you have to have a way of getting buses and cars off the street so that the kids can get in and out safely. And uh, we can have an orderly arrival and dismissal and nobody gets hurt. And also for the neighborhood, so there's a proper traffic flow. So this will help us tremendously because we can route some cars off the street, try to get the buses off the street and make it safer for everyone. Principal McCann, who's on here, has done an absolutely phenomenal job running Sumner Avenue School and does as well as you can with a very tight situation. But this would, would help us organize that flow better. And uh, down the road right now, we're looking really for the space for that. Down the road, we could use the building for some purposes, possibly a virtual school or a few preschool classes. But the first order of business would be design in that parking lot and uh, hiring a professional to come in and say, how can we best organize arrival and dismissal with that extra space? Maria's on. She knows we worked for a couple of years at Lincoln and Brightwood to get extra space to get the cars and buses off the road. 
And now things are much better on Plainfield Street because of that great work with her and the team. So that's mm -hmm. what we need to do here at Sumner Avenue. And yeah. like I say, Principal McCann's done a, a, a great job, but with a very limited space and it, it does create a problem. Sure. Uh, please allow me to uh, introduce and recognize uh, Councillor Tracy Whitfield, who just joined the, uh, the meeting. Uh, welcome, uh, Councillor Whitfield. Um, can, uh, Principal McCann, is there anything you would like to add? No, it just would be really helpful to have um, that extra space because we do have, we have 60 parking spots and then we have 90 or so staff members that need to park each and every day. So it would be helpful. And um, as everyone knows, Sumner, as um, Superintendent Warwick was saying, gets very congested. Um, yeah. So it would be really helpful to figure out um, a way to make our uh, entry and also our dismissal safer. Right. Uh, I just have a quick, uh, two quick questions before I turn it over to the, uh, to the other counselors. Um, refresh my memory. How many parking spaces are we having there? So, so either or. Five at Friendly's. There's 85 at Friendly's. And the, and the school is, is short between 30 and 40 every day. Okay, excellent. And uh, now maybe for Lindsay, Lindsay on uh, the finance department, I believe that the timing by means of uh, finance, I think that um, the company who bought this, they pay Springfield Realty Venture LLC. I think at the time they pay 600,000 and we are offering $1.3 million. And I think that was splitting the difference. If that's what TJ had said last time, I believe. Um, I'm not sure what they paid for the property, um, but I believe the money that the city council had set aside was 1.1 million. I think it was 1.3. I thought it was 1.125, but um, oh, you know, you're, you're I don't right. know where the, the 1.3 came from. Yeah, the 1.3 was uh, what was suggested. 1.125 was the split in the difference. You're correct. 1.1, that's right, that's right, okay. Um, okay, just to, uh, so nothing has changed there because I think they say they were gonna do another appraisal or there might be possibility of doing another appraisal. I haven't been aware, made aware of any changes in, in the price. Um, right, so moving forward, the, uh, the suggested price is 1.1. Correct. One point one two five is what we have set aside for the purchase. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, very well. So uh, I turn it over to the uh, other counselors for any questions, any follow up. <clears throat> Councilor, nobody has a question. No. Okay. Well, this is not usual. I'm a little. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess this is good news. Okay. Well, good, I think good. we discussed at the last meeting as far as the finance goals and everything. So, and yeah. this is not yeah. a finance subcommittee meeting. So, my questions would all be financial. Um, public safety is pretty cut and dry as uh -huh. to why we're in the parking lot. So, that's where I stand. Okay. Oh, so I take that as, as you don't have any questions. Though. Okay. Um, very well. Um, Okay, that was, uh, don't have any more questions. Like I say, it was a follow-up. Uh, the Forest Park Civic Association did contact me. They did uh, say they support the project. They're excited on the project. And so for me, it was extremely important to have that uh, neighborhood input uh, on this project because this is uh, an important piece of of, uh, of land. I just have one more question. Uh, did the uh, possibility of the building being demolished in the future, is that still a possibility? I believe there was discussion, or are we not planning to demolish? That's that not not been discussed. No, we, not, we don't think there's a need to do that. There could be okay, a use for the building that would be because that looks like a structurally sound building it to does, me. I'm does. Not, okay, it does. Yeah, okay. you wouldn't need to take down that building, Victor, at all. Right. It's also I keep saying it's an iconic building itself, it's part yeah. part of the uh, history of the neighborhood as well. So um, we would. Well, we'd look for a reuse that wouldn't need a lot of parking and would help uh, so we'd have that space to do the safe arrival and dismissal. Got you. I understand. Uh, okay, very well. Uh, well, with that being said, I, um, uh, do I have a motion to bring this up to the floor? Um, Chancellor Wilford, you're the next, you're the um, member.
Sorry, I was muted. Um, I make a <laughs> motion that we, um, what, what do you want to approve this? Um, uh, yeah, bring it up to the city council. Oh, uh, bring it to the city uh, council and, rec and a recommendation that we move forward with it. Very well, the second and I vote aye and you vote aye. aye. All right, very well. So uh, we're gonna be bringing this up to the uh, uh, city council today. Um, for the consideration, uh, Superintendent, I believe so you and Pat will be joining us uh, today. Um, Lindsay, I think you are you going to be there yourself just in case there's any questions or anybody from the finance? TJ will be there tonight. TJ will be there. Okay, excellent. So anyways, uh, I like it. This is my common meeting, quick and straight to the point. And so uh, very well, we're going to be bringing up this up with a favorable recommendation to the city council today. Um, Unless anybody has any final comments or thoughts? Yes, I do, Councilor Davila. Sure, Councilor uh, Paris. From the point that I experienced the same issue here with Lincoln and Brightwood, um, I'm for it because the safety of our students, you know, is top. Also, um, I want to commend um, uh, Superintendent Warwick um, because he always looking after the safety of the children uh, in our neighborhood. So thank you so much. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. There is no doubt, indeed, uh, under the uh, uh, Superintendent Warwick's, uh, uh, the, there has been leaps of uh, changes and, and advancement in, in the school system. So uh, I thank you for that, Superintendent. You are truly, uh, uh, your entire career has been here. So uh, you are definitely Springfield, Springfield proud. And we thank you for that, sir. Thank you. Very well. With that being said, um, the meeting is adjourned at 12.48 and uh, have a good day. We'll be bringing this up to the city council at seven o'clock tonight. Thank you, everybody. Have a good have day. Have a nice day. Everyone. Bye -bye.